Okay, 3.4, find and use slopes of lines. Most of you guys kind of already know what slope is. Hopefully you guys remember this from Algebra 1. The slope of a non-vertical line is the ratio of the vertical change, or rise, to the horizontal change, or run, between any two points on the line. More commonly, you guys hopefully remember that slope is usually denoted by the letter M, and M equals rise over run. Okay. Um, hopefully you also remember that if you have a vertical line, there is no slope or an undefined slope. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you have a negative slope, the line is going to fall, or it falls from left to right, as in line J. Okay. This has a negative slope. If the slope is positive, it rises from left to right kind of like line K. This one has a positive slope. Undefined slope is vertical. So like line N, this has an undefined slope or no slope. That's different from a slope of zero. This is going to be horizontal, like line L. Okay? Please make sure you don't get these confused. Okay. All right. For example, find the slope of line A and line C. Let's take a look at line A. Um, first thing you want to do, you want to pick two points on this line. We could pick this one and this one. Both of these are on line A. The rise would be the y values, 6 and 2. So I'm going to have 6 minus 2. And the run would be the x values. So I've got 4 and 0. 4 minus 0. 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 minus 0 is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So the slope is 1. Alright? Let's take a look at line C. <coughs> line C, we could use this point again because that's also on this line. And this, this point. The um, y values, we have 6 and 6, so I have 6 minus 6. x values, I have 4 and 0. 6 minus 6 is 0, 4 minus 0 is 4, 0 divided by 4 is 0. And that makes sense because it is a horizontal line, and we know that horizontal lines have a slope of 0. Alright, I'll let you guys do these two. Let's go on to page 2. Postulate 7. In a coordinate plane, two non-vertical lines are parallel if and only if they have the same slope. Also, any two vertical lines are parallel. Okay? Now, they, they say this because vertical lines have no slope. So, if, if two lines both have no slope, they're both, have, they're both undefined, then um, they're parallel. Okay. Slopes of perpendicular lines. Hopefully, you guys remember from... Um, from algebra, if you have perpendicular lines, they have opposite reciprocal slopes. In a coordinate plane, two non-vertical lines are perpendicular if and only if the product of their slope, their slopes, is negative one. Okay. Now, um, opposite reciprocals are also called negative reciprocals. Opposite reciprocals or negative reciprocals. Hopefully, you guys remember that opposite means that you change the sign. Reciprocal means that you flip it over. So for example, if you have a slope of say 2, the opposite reciprocal would be negative 1 over 2. You change the sign and you flip it upside down. Okay? These would be opposite reciprocals of each other. And if you multiply 2 times negative 1 half, you're going to get negative 1. Okay? So the product of their slopes are always going to be negative 1. Um, horizontal lines are always going to be 
perpendicular to vertical lines. <clears throat> okay, find the slope of each line. Which lines are parallel? Find the slope of K1. Oh gosh, sorry, this got cut off. K1 is here. M, the slope, let's use this point and this point. So the Y values looks like, whoops, are negative one and negative six. And the x values are negative 3 and negative 4. Now remember, whenever you have a minus negative, it becomes a positive. Negative 1 plus 6 is 5. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1. So the slope is 5. All right, let's take a look at K2. I'm going to use this point and this point. So the y values are 2 and negative 4. You could say negative 4 minus 2 or 2 minus negative 4. It doesn't matter which order you use as long as um, let's say if I were to say 2 minus negative 4 then I need to say 2 minus 1. I can't switch it up. So 2 minus negative 4 and because I started with 2 I need to make sure I have 2 first on the bottom. So 2 minus 1. becomes positive. 2 plus 4 is 6. 2 minus 1 is 1. So this is 6. And over here, you can't really see it, but there's a point here. Oops. And there's a point here. This is 4, 2. And this is negative, or sorry, 3, negative 3. Okay? So I've got 2 minus negative 3 over 4 minus 3. Becomes positive. 2 plus 3 is um, 5. This equals 5. Okay. Compare the slopes because K1 and K3 have the same slope. Notice that this is 5 and this is 5. They are parallel. The slope of K, um, K2 is different. So K2 is not parallel to the other lines. Okay? All right, I'll let you guys do this one. Let's go on to page three. Line H passes through 1, negative 2. 1, negative 2 is here. And 5, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, or sorry, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's see if I can draw a straight line here. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Okay, kind of straight. There we go. So this is line <laughs> H. Graph the line perpendicular to H that passes through point 2, 5. 2, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I need to draw. There we go. I need to draw a line perpendicular through that point. Okay, first step. I need to find the slope of this line. So I'm going to use my y's. 6 minus negative 2 over 5 minus 1. These become positive. 6 plus 2 is 8. 5 minus 1 is 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Okay, now, they have this method where I take this and I go, okay, what do I have to multiply by 2 by to get negative 1? I'd recommend you just take this, flip it over, and change the sign. Negative 1 half. Okay. So from here, use the rise and run to graph the line. So I'm going to go down 1 over 2. And 
And if my line was straight, that would be a right angle. Okay? A trucker has made three deliveries. The graph shows the trucker's distance to the destination from the starting time to the arrival time for each delivery. Use the slopes to make a statement about the deliveries. Okay, so here's our graph. The rate at which the trucker drives is represented by the slopes of the segments. Segments A and C, notice how A and C are parallel, they have the same slope. So the deliveries A and C were driven at the same rate. Alright, I'll let you guys do these two, and that's all.